Showtime. Yes, it's showtime, the half hour that brings you each week in condensed form an outstanding musical play. This showtime, we recreate for radio the 1928 Ziegfeld success, Poopy, with music by Walter Donaldson and words by Gus Kahn. Our special showtime guest, here to play the same role he originated more than 20 years ago on Broadway, is Eddie Cantor. Now the curtain rises on our showtime production of Whoopi, starring Gordon McRae, Eileen Wilson, and Eddie Cantor. Hey, boy, look who's here. It's Juan Ennis, the old Indian kid himself. I thought you was back east in college, Juan Ennis. I just got back this morning. Oh, here for a little trouble, eh? Trouble? I thought there was to be a wedding today. There is. Sheriff Bob is marrying your old girlfriend, Sally Morgan. That's the trouble. You're wrong, Pete. I'm not planning to make trouble for Sally. We'll soon see. Hey, here comes the bridegroom, Sheriff Bob. Juan Ennis, what are you doing back in town? I'm back for the wedding, Sheriff. You only came here to embarrass Sally. Her father promised me on his deathbed that Sally be mine. And no Indian or part Indian's going to take her away from me. So just remember, one, and I ain't taking no trouble from you. Mm. Reckon you've lost your girlfriend, Indian. I know that better than you do, Pete. But I guess I can come to the wedding, can't I? Boy, you sure can. Hey, you're a great sport, Indian. See, me and the boys is going to serenade Sally to sort of wish her luck. I've come a long way to do that myself. I'd like you to know just how I feel. Well, you're right under the window now. Uh, go to it. Love me or leave me and let me be lonely. You won't believe me and I love you only. I'd rather be lonely than happy with somebody else. You might find... The night time, the right time for kissing. But night time is my time for just reminiscing. Regretting instead of forgetting with somebody else. There'll be no one unless that someone is you. Independently blue. I want your love, but I don't want to borrow. To have it today, to give back tomorrow. For my love is your love. There's no love for anyone. But night time is my time for just reminiscing, regretting instead of forgetting with somebody else. There'll be no one unless that someone is you. I intend to be independently blue.
Hello, folks. Oh, Henry Williams, what are you doing with that cow? I just took a little walk with her. With a cow? Henry, as your nurse, I'm supposed to take you for your walk. I know, but I feel much safer with a cow. <laughs> For instance, when a cow snuggles up to you and gives you a little kiss, she isn't looking for a hat or a pair of shoes. And she's got a nice fur coat. She's a contented cow. <laughs> well, oh, you must be tired from your walk. Uh, sit down here by me. There. Now let me hold your hand. It's not heavy. I can manage. <laughs> Henry, when I hold your hand like this and put my arm around you and snuggle close like this... Doesn't it suggest anything to you? Yes, but with my health, I'd better not think about it. <laughs> oh, most girls go for these big, handsome cowboys, but not me. I like miserable little weak men like you. <laughs> Henry, will you marry me? Mary, put me down. Put me down. You know the condition of my heart. Besides, I'm a half-breed. A half-breed? I breathe through one side of my nose. <laughs> Henry, you can't fool me. You're no thicker than I am. I can read you like a book. You can? Well, don't miss chapter three. <laughs> I got around a lot when I was younger. <laughs> Remind me to tell you sometime. Oh, Mary, Henry. Sally, you're supposed to be getting ready for your wedding. I was, but they told me Juan Ennis was here, and I must see him, if only for a moment. Well, I'll go and see if I can find him. And when I do, I'll tell him he has no business coming back and bothering you on your wedding day. I'll tell him... Remember, he's an Indian. Then I'll tell it to him with reservations. <laughs> See you later. Sally. Sally, what will the sheriff say? I don't knows... care. I've got to find one Ennis before... Sally. Oh, one Ennis. I've been watching you by the side of the mission. Well, uh, I'd better find Henry before he goes back to that heifer. Oh, this is the first time I've ever had competition from a cow. <laughs> I had to come to wish you good luck, Sally. Oh, Sally, there's still time for you to sneak away with me. We could lose ourselves in the mountains. It can't be, one Ennis. They'd follow us and kill you. But if you care for me... I do, one Ennis. You know how proud I am of you, winning all those honors in college, and you just an Indian boy. Just an Indian boy. No matter what I'll do, I'll never be more than that to your race. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish you luck and happiness, Sally. I didn't bring you a gift, but I'll, I'll send you one later. You came yourself, didn't you? All I could get for you was this flower, a red rose. That means more to me than anything, one in it, because it comes from you. I'm bringing a red, red rose, speaking of love to you.
how can you go to this man if you care for me? I do care for you, Juan Ennis. I'm only trying to do what I think best. Please try to understand. I think I do understand very clearly. Goodbye, Sally. Juan Ennis. Oh, Juan Ennis. Sally. Sally, what's the matter? Crying on your wedding day? I'm in trouble, Henry. You're in trouble. Look at me. I've got five dangerous ailments and very little chance of recovering from any of them. The only thing that keeps me alive is the fact that I don't know what to die of. <laughs> oh, if, if I only knew what to do. Sally, you're not married yet. Lots of things can happen between now and the time you say I do as for me. Every time I hear that march from Lohengrin, I am always on the outside looking in. Maybe that is why I see the funny side when I see a fallen brother take a bride. Weddings make a lot of people sad. But if you're not the groom, they're not so bad. Another bride, another groom, another sunny honeymoon, another season, another reason for making whoopee. The choir sings, here comes the bride. Another victim is by her side. He's lost his reason, cause it's the season for you. <laughs> Down through the countless ages, you'll find it everywhere. Somebody makes good wages, somebody wants her share. She calls him Toodle. And rolls her eyes. She makes him strudel and bakes him pie. What is it all for? It's so he'll fall for Megan. <laughs> Another year, or maybe less. What's this I hear? Well, can't you guess? She feels neglected, and he's suspected. Of making whoopee. <laughs> she sits alone most every night. He doesn't fall or even write. He says he's busy, but she said, Is he? <laughs> he doesn't make much money, $5,000 per. Some judge who thinks he's funny says you pay six to her. He says, now judge, suppose I fail. The judge says, bud, right into jail. You'd better keep her to find a cheaper and make me happy. <laughs> I don't know. It just stopped. Have you got gas? Have I got gas? <laughs> <laughs> when my father died, he left me a million dollars. In two years, I spent half of it on bicarbonate. Have I got gas? <laughs> I mean gasoline. Of course I've got gasoline. How do you think we got here? Ketchup? <laughs> I'll get out. I'll probably find the trouble. Uh-huh. I told you I'd find the trouble. What is it? No gasoline. <laughs> oh, Henry, I thought you'd save me. I trusted you. But if you keep me in these mountains all night, Sheriff Bob will probably kill you. What do you mean? I do him a favor and he'll kill me? Henry, I didn't tell you the whole truth. You're not taking me to the sheriff. You're taking me away from him. Oh. <laughs> you just left out the details. <laughs> you mean you're running away from your wedding? Yes. By this time, Bob and all the cowboys will probably be looking for it. This is terrible. Let's start walking back. Take my arm. No, give me your arm. I'm weaker. <laughs> Henry, I still haven't told you the whole truth. More details? Go on, Sally. Go ahead. Go ahead. In that note I left for Bob, I said I'd eloped with you. You did what? Oh. Well, I... 
I'll admit I came west to die, but I don't want to die from Bob Wills. <laughs> I want to die from my own sicknesses in bed with doctors, nurses, and flowers and a little fruit. <laughs> what, what, what'll I do if the sheriff comes? Here, take this. Put down that gun. It kills people. Drop it. Throw it away, I tell you. Put it down, Don't... Henry. I'll put it here on the seat of the car. That's better. Now, Sally Morgan, we've got to get you out of these mountains before anything happens to your reputation. But you're here to protect me. I know, but even a weak man can have his weaknesses. <laughs> Henry, look. Headlights. Help is coming. Yeah, the rope isn't wide enough for him to pass. You'll have to stop and give us some gas. All right, all right. Don't block the road, please. Out of the way there. Sorry, I'm out of gas. Oh, don't annoy me with your troubles. I'm a very nervous man. You're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> don't argue with me. I haven't had a decent night's sleep in 17 years. 17 years, he says. I haven't closed my eyes since I've been nine. Talk of insomnia. If I don't drink a glass of hot milk, I can't even put on my pajamas. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. I've had ten operations in the last five years. Only ten. I've had so many operations, the doctor doesn't sew me up anymore. Look, a zipper. <laughs> and it, it cost me $500. Five? <laughs> my last operation cost 1500 Really? Let's see. Oh, no wonder. You've got hand stitching. <laughs> Now, look, I need five gallons of gas. Oh, no, I'll need every drop I have to get over that mountain ahead. Now, get out of my way. Stop blowing that horn. You're making me nervous. Then get out of my way. You're making me nervous. Stop it. Stop it. You've got me so upset, I don't know what I'm doing. Sally, do something. Here, take this. What do I want with a gun? <laughs> don't, don't, don't shoot. Huh? Oh, see, that's an idea. Stick him up, you. <laughs> now, get out of your car. Drain every drop of your gas tank and put it in mine. Why, why, this was an outfit. Shut up. I'll have the sheriff on your trail in an hour. Don't argue with me. Drain a gas tank quick. Don't try any funny business. My partner up there has got you covered. Partner? Yes. Hello? Hello. How are you? All right. See you later. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs> this ranch house looks deserted, Henry. I'm afraid there's no one here. Who cares? All I want to see is food. If I don't eat soon, I'll faint. But don't throw water on me, because if I do, I'm liable to catch pneumonia. I always, you know, I'm... Do you suppose I hid the car well enough? Nobody will see it, Henry. Let's go in. The door seems to be unlocked. Why, this is the kitchen. Well, uh, howdy, uh, uh, folks. Um, uh, you must be the new couple I sent out in town to cook and wait the table. No, well, sir, I'm Andy McNabb, the uh, uh, whole foreman of this place. <laughs> He's got something I haven't got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. She's the cook and I'm the waiter. Oh, oh, oh fine, fine. Yes, yes. Uh, you people got here just in time. Here's on the ranch now. Howdy, Miss Underwood. Andy, get Sheriff Bob Wells on the telephone right away. I was held up last night. Okay, okay, right away, Miss Underwood. Uh, uh, you two over there, who are you? One side, Sally. Hey, you... Oh, why, the crazy little fool crawled into the soap. Say, who are you people, anyway? Uh, I I'm the new cook, and he's the waiter. Henry! Oh. oh, what happened? The stove exploded. Your face is all covered with soot. Yeah. Well, well, stand up. Let me get a good look at you. Well, this is the first time we've ever had colored help at the ranch. Huh? Oh, yes, sir, boss. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, you like my work. Sure enough, you're all young. Yeah, 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 sir. Yeah. I, I didn't have to uh, phone the sheriff, boss. He, he's riding up out uh, the front right now, sir. The sheriff. One side, Sally. Well, the sheriff. I'd better go out and meet him. Sally. One minute. I knew I'd find you if I followed the sheriff. But I ran away from the sheriff. I didn't marry him. Where is the man you did marry? But I didn't marry Henry. That was just a trick to protect you. Don't you believe me? There'll be no one unless that someone is you. I intend to be independently blue.
love me enough to live my way and be one of my people? Why, Menace, you couldn't expect that of me. Even you couldn't be happy like that. After all you've studied and learned. Well, if if you ever change your mind, Sally, I'll be waiting. Goodbye. Why, Menace? See, Sally, if you had run away with Menace instead of me, I wouldn't be in all this trouble. You're in love with one, Ennis. Oh, Henry, I'm so miserable. I wish I were dead. Don't say that. I wish I'd never been born. You could have said that first and saved yourself a wish. (laughs) Now, let's try to get out of here before the sheriff sees us. Juan Ennis, you make Mountain God happy today. You come back to own people. For all time, be Indian now. For all time. But you do wrong. Bring white friends here. Mountain God grow angry if we keep white girl here. Henry and Sally needed help, Black Eagle. Our reservation was the only place they could hide. You must not feel badly because I love this girl. What thing this love make all people sad? Love is not sad, Black Eagle. It is like the trail going up the mountainside. My love is the mountain itself, and whether it be to happiness or to sorrow... When love calls, we must climb to meet it. For love is the mountain god. Blue is the mountain with the setting of the sun. See me, Chief? Ugh. A little bicarbonate will do wonders for you. <laughs> white man love white girl? Sally? Me? Of course not. One Ennis loves her, and she loves one Ennis, and I'll do all I can to help you, one Ennis. Thank you, Henry. Uh, Black Eagle like you, white man. Thanks, Black Eagle. By the way, I've always wondered, perhaps you can tell me, was there really anything between Pocahontas and John Smith? <laughs> Black Eagle think Pocahontas and John Smith marry. He good husband. Never leave her side. Mm-hmm. No wonder there are so many Smiths in this country. <laughs> oh, 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 there's trouble. What is it? Look, coming up the path, it's the sheriff and the whole gang from the ranch. All right, William, sit right where you are. One well, minute, if you kidnap Sally. I came here of my own free will, Bob, with Henry. Why, you little worm. Oh, oh here comes the early bird. <laughs> Remember, my heart, don't fight with me, Miss Custer. The only way you can get me to stop fighting with you is to change my name from Miss Custer to Mrs. Williams. Mm Mm-hmm. Since when has that stopped fighting? (laughs) Now, you two can settle that later if Williams ever gets out of jail. I'm arresting him as leader of a desperate gang of robbers. I'm not a gang leader. Of course he is. Oh, don't argue with him, Sheriff. Get a confession. Yeah, I'll get a confession, all right, Underwood, with a little psychology. All right, Williams, answer my question. Yes, sir. Where's the rest of your gang? I haven't got a gang. What's your name? Henry Williams. Where were you born? New York. How tall are you? Five feet ten. How tall are you? Six foot one. Where were you born? Albuquerque. What's your name? Bob Wells. Where's the rest of your gang? I haven't got a gang, eh? Hey. <laughs> a little psychology, huh? 
This is all absurd, Bob Wells. Henry Williams is not the leader of a gang of highwaymen. Well, if you say so, Sally, it's it's possible I was mistaken. And now will you come back with me? Sally! No! No, wait! One in us love white girl, so Black Eagle tell truth. Long time, 25 years ago, Black Eagle find child in white man's shack on mountainside. White man leave white squaw. White squaw die. Black Eagle take child. Black Eagle raise child. Black Eagle love one in us. Is this true? Or are you just saying it to make me happy? Indian never lie. One in us white man. Sally. One in us. I love you, Sally. And I love you, one in us, with all my heart. You're mine now, forever. Forever and always. Isn't it sickening? Where's my milk of magnesia? <laughs> I threw it away. You, you, you what? And your pill, too. You never were sick, Henry. You were just a terrible hypochondriac. No, he's a hypochondriac? <laughs> Why, I've been suffering with it for 50 years. Uh, William, did you ever imagine you were going insane? Imagine it. I've gone... I've decided to let Miss Custer become Mrs. Williams. <laughs> oh, Henry, we'll be married. Yes. Oh, I've always wanted to have a son. <laughs> she doesn't know me very well, does she? Another bride, another groom, and there's no room for any gloom. It's really sickly that they so quickly will make whoopee. No more powder, no more pills. Goodbye to doctor and Dr. Bill. I won't be dizzy, I'll be too busy. May I? No token but this token as a token so truly I'm keeping this red red rose. Curtain falls on Goofy, starring Gordon McRae, Eileen Wilson, and Eddie Cantor. Join us next week for another musical play on Showtime, a presentation of the United States Armed Forces Radio Service, the voice of information and education.